Hi guys, welcome back to our case home cooking once again. Today I am going to make one of the famous Italian dish. It's called spaghetti bolognese. In Italian language, it's called ragu alla bolognese. The name actually comes from the region of Bologna. That's why it's called bolognese. So let's start to make bolognese. Before that. I'm going to show you what I got and how simply so you can make it and how easy you can make it. One peeled onion, one carrot peeled, one celery sticks, concentrate tomato puree, spaghetti, 400 ml beef stock, extra virgin olive oil, 750 gram minced fresh beef, 50 ml red wine, 100 ml milk, small amount of parsley, salt, pepper. Let's start to make bolognese. It's a very important thing is in Italy they do for the minced beef especially olive oil. Pour a little bit. Black pepper. And gently rub. So what is the reason they're doing this? It doesn't get the lumps and it's getting really soft. The olive oil bring the meat. Very, very soft. Gentle touch. That's it. The onion and celery trimmed very small. Carrot grated so you get a better result. Parsley trimmed. Oil ready light and make your pan hot now the pan is hot pour the olive oil onion and celery trim to go in it's really nice and hot make it nice and soft dry gently pinch of salt will speed up the softness same time I have another pan with the boiled water for my spaghetti. Little bit salt on the water. The spaghetti doesn't feel bland taste. Come back to the pan, keep stirring. So simple cooking and the taste is delicious. Carrot getting the right color onion and carrot and celery mix keep stirring I don't want to be get burned now the onion carrot celery get and soften you can see nicely and um, mince need to go in keep stirring it and bind Until change the color of the meat. Keep doing this because you don't need any lumps. If it's a lumps, it's not very nice to be having a bolognese. Beef is start to cook. Wine. I need to evaporate all the wine. Only I need a wine taste. The reason you are adding wine now because if you add later, the taste will be bittery. Keep stirring. Hundred ml milk. Again, stir gently. A combination in Italian cuisine so important if you add something too much or too little they won't be taste like italian food beef stock that's a 400 ml beef stock go in straight in there stir and lid on the top it's take about one hour to two hour depends on what type of mince you're using this is the steak mince they take about an hour when you cover the lid 
you make sure the hop temperature very low that means you put the sim mode let's check it's uh, nearly an hour cooking so wow reduce the beef stock and it's nicely cooked and really smoothy and silky you can see how nicely the bolognese is coming four teaspoon of tomato puree some people use chopped in tomato or plum tomato but bolognese actually no need to use those kind of things it's better to be used tomato puree other 10 minutes cooking then it will be ready spaghettis are completely cooked and I drained and I keep it there to cool down about 10 minutes the concentrated tomato is cooked nicely small amount of parsley look bolognese is supposed to be that much thick some people make it really watery classic Italian recipe don't make it too liquidy plate up the spaghetti bolognese spaghettis are nice and hot bolognese as well so a little bit olive oil always use spaghetti or any pasta a little bit olive oil to toast the reason they won't stick together and the taste is amazing it's lovely now these bolognese go on the top of the spaghetti wow traditional italian smell I have some grated parmesan. You can use a cheddar cheese to sprinkle on the top of the beautiful bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese finally is on the plate. Very simple and not overpowered with any herb or any garlic or anything. This is a way to make a spaghetti bolognese. This is a very basic and regular meal for Italian people. Thank you for watching RK's Home Cooking. More videos to come and see you next time. Take good care. Bye-bye.